Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons and welcome back to Oxenfree. In the last episode we needed to cross this bridge, in this episode we crossed the bridge. Good episode, let's... <laughs> we'll meet well, back again in a couple of days. That. It didn't collapse. That's one good thing that happened tonight. Yep. Yay. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean that's what Ren made us yeah. sound. With my brother. With Michael? Yeah? Like, with your mom and dad, or...? Sometimes mom and dad, but mostly just him and me. Oh, that's cool. Like he's, like he'd be babysitting you and he'd bring you out here? That's nice of him. He could have just stayed home, you know? It wasn't like that. We were, like, best friends. It's not like he was being forced to do it. He wanted to do it. We liked hanging out together. Oh, I mean, I didn't mean... Yeah, yeah, of course. If you're sure, Jonas. You mind your words when talking about Michael. You don't even know Michael! Wow, that was that was a surprisingly dramatic turn. Anyway, progress, but first a little campsite because environment and atmosphere and tent. Some people camp here, but it's weird. I, I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kind of dumpy. Like, I don't know, like it's been abandoned. Yeah, I can see this place being cool like in the summer or even in the spring. You got the park, you got the main street shops. Yeah, well, I'm over it. Starting now. Understandably, because shit's gone down, but all we can do is press forward in our pursuit of Ren, I suppose. And we're being led this way, so we'll head this way. Or not. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean that's... Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, tonight's like being trapped in a nightmare soon, but I don't know. You have memories here, right? Jumping off the diving board with little Janie and... Eat an ice cream with little Franklin. Whose life are you talking about right now? All I'm saying is, before tonight, this was a pretty cool place. And you did stuff here, and it's a part of you, you know? It's a part of you. And I just wouldn't want our first night out to, you know, wreck all of that. For, like, forever. I just wouldn't want... Ugh, fine. I won't hold it against the island, or whatever. I won't hold it against you or the island. I'll keep my memories. Happy? Actually, I am. Thank you. Well, glad to hear it. Anyway, campsite, because why not? Wait, wasn't this... <sighs> we passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning? I, um, honestly don't remember. Hmm. Well, that can't be anything particular ever. All we can do is press on in our pursuit of Ren, and we're being led this way, so let's go this way. Or not. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean that's something is something's wrong. We've already done this like twice. Done what? Cause I don't remember any of this. Jonas, seriously, you don't remember? You keep asking me if I came here as a kid a lot, again and again. Um. Okay. I mean, if you say so, but like, I don't even know what you're saying. What are you saying? <sighs> are we lost? Or is Whatever it... we did or opened in the cave must have, like, screwed up something or... I don't know. I don't want to say, like, time, because that sounds insane. Well, it's more than a little troubling that I can't tell besides a uh, headache I've only just noticed, but okay, let's deal with this now, sure. Oh, calm down with your attitude, Jonas. I was gonna say something sassy and it's completely left me, but anyway... Let's head to the left because we're looking for Ren. I've said all this already, or have I? I don't know, because I can't tell we're time looping. Here's a football, I'm going to kick it. This is, uh, new. It kind of stinks. Yeah, it smells like it's been sitting in a diaper for a month. Well then, let's kick it. Take that, ball. Um... Who's there? So, it's just... Kick it again. I'm taking a picture of the ball moving, not your kicking, just so you know. Oh my god, Radio, stop trying to make fetch a thing. It's never going to be a thing. Alright, who are you? Alright, who are you? Rude. Maybe don't antagonize whoever. Okay. One more kick, for good measure. I think they have a sense of humor. Hey, come on! 
Well, whatever. We're being railroaded to the left in our pursuit of Ren, so that's... That's normal. Oh my god. This is crazy. Alex, I think we're dealing with ghosts. Just a hunch. Oh, yeah. What tipped you off? The messages, the ball, or maybe it was the ghost... The ghost that just burned itself into the rock? Yeah, that. Good talk. Well, let's keep going to the left and find Ren because we have places to be and things to do. Or he not. Used to come here as a... Wait, what is... It's like... God, that looks... Wait, wait, what is this? The foundation's still up, but they left all the furniture. And equipment. Like, why hasn't this been torn down or converted into something else? Yeah, super bizarro. Best not to antagonize while we're still in the time loop, because... How much is he going to remember? How much is he going to forget? What is the canon version of this conversation? What's going to happen next? The world may never know, except we're going to know because we're going to sally forth and find out what the hell's going to happen next. There's a radio machine. Hello there. It's like the machine in the cave. Ren would know what it is. Uh, th that two-way receiver intercom thing. Maybe we try the talk to ourselves thing? Or if somebody's listening on a ham radio or something, I might be able to reach them. Um, yeah. Thank God for weirdo basement hobbyists. Let's try it out. Hey, people who are hopefully listening to this, that maybe includes another version of me, I need a connection to emergency services because we... Do not hurt yourself with the stream of trying. Rude. There is no way out. Says you. Or not. Again? Really? But... Ugh, fine. Well, we're on our own now. Jonas has been absorbed by the time stream. Except this isn't Half Minute Hero, this is Oxenfree. Did I mention that already? It's hard to tell with all these time loops. But anyway, campsite, empty, no more radio thing, and oh! We're looking at something, what are we looking at? That's normal. How am I... is this an optical illusion or something? Tell Michael to stay with Clarissa. They like each other a lot. Wh what do you mean? Or not. Wait, wait. We've done this before. Ah, oh, really? Again? It's alright. We must have just missed... um... something. Are you... can you kind of remember more now? It's... starting to stick. Yeah, I mean, it's still sort of foggy, but whatever. I'll deal with it. Now, I should mention, that that last option there, well, the, the, the dialogue options with the reflection. I had no say in what was said there, so that's something to keep in mind. There are other dialogue... There are other people with the power of dialogue boxes who are roaming the island, apparently, who also happen to have blue hair, because you gotta have blue hair. Huh. This is... It's just like the armoire in the cave. Super duper old, but in, like, new condition. It's one of those, um, magnetophones, I think they're called. Or some other real-to-real -real thing from the 40s? Why would it be here? What, you're just gonna leave the conversation there? Okay, fine, I'll solve your puzzle game. Clockwise, anti-clockwise, doesn't matter. You can even play them super fast, and I think that's the idea. Just need to get the reels spinning really quickly so that the music's no longer distorted. This is a recurring puzzle as well. Or am I doing it too fast? I seem to recall just having this go on maximum speed and that's fine. There we go. You know, I didn't realize I felt like a pressure in my head until right now. Maybe doing that fixed the loop. But whatever you did helped... Yeah, but making it sound right... Did what? It changed the background I, music. I don't know, but it's like my allergies cleared up or something. Let's just keep going and get Ren. Good idea. So, now that we can finally progress to the left in our pursuit of Ren, without being interrupted by weird time loop shenanigans, we can head up and listen to the music now that it's got that corrected audio layer, because it's a multi-layer sound thing. Anyway. So, having fun yet? I'm so glad our families are uniting, Alex. This will be a grand adventure for the two of us. Unless we die. 
Unless we die, yes. Yay, realism in a ghost story. What do you think they want? The, uh... Do they have to want anything? Just most of the time, don't they like... I mean, isn't that why they're trapped here or whatever? Because they didn't do something they needed to in life, or...? I don't think our previous knowledge of movies and comic books applies here, really. Ow, my fourth wall. But fine. I just hope they want to, like, play soccer every once in a while, and that's it. Right, now before we move on, I can finally address these piles of stones. They're called anomalies, or they they signify where anomalies are. There's a whole bunch of them on the island, and this is the first one I'm going to grab. Just tune into it, and you can hear a secret message. Here we go. Lovely. And there are quite a few of those scattered throughout the island. Does it tell you on the map? It does. There, there are 12 anomalies in total. And they're a collectible. And yes, I will be getting all of them in this run, because 100 percentness yay! But don't worry. There are some that I've gone past that we might, would... You'd think we'd have to backtrack for them, but don't worry. There's, there's ample opportunity to do that as this game progresses. But for now, I think we've got more conversations to go through, because that's how this game does. It's impossible to commentate, damn it! Well, also, there's another anomaly right here as well, so this ought to be fun in post, because I'll be subtitling it and shit. Yeah. Now, which frequency is this one? Really? It's another low one? I feel like I just went past it. All the joys of dialing radio dials. What's the verb? I don't know. Here we go. Tuning a radio, that's it. delightful. If you listen to them for long enough, they do start to repeat, and so I'm just trying to cut them off before they do loop for professionalism sake. Grammar. Oh. <laughs> I remember this. The two Jacks carved their... Uh, Jack Mitchell and Jack Ladd, they used to hang out together all the time, and they carved their names into this bench on a school trip once. I ship it. You don't care, do you? No, please, keep going. Okay. On another school trip, they... Stop. <laughs> huh. But surprise yaoi though! Once you tune into an anomaly once, every time you walk past it, it'll have a little thing above it saying what the frequency is to listen to that anomaly again, so that's how you know you've collected it, because it'll say above it. And don't worry, we won't be getting them at a rate of two per screen every screen from now on. It's just these two happen to be near each other. I think that's the first one that you have to walk past unless you go out of your way to look for them. I don't know, but hey look! Nona? It's Nona! Yo there, Nona. No there, Yona. Did it, don't, don't, okay? Just don't move, okay? Don't come anywhere near me. No, no. Just don't move. What is it? What's wrong? This night has turned banana bread really fast, and I'm seeing things and forgetting things, and I bumped into you once already, and it was horrible, so... We haven't... It, this is the first time we've seen you since the beach. Be that as it may, I've seen an Alex. So, just look. You're not going to talk about my grandfather. You're just going to stand there, politely, and tell me if you've seen Clarissa. Clarissa's No, not no, we haven't. But we, uh, we're actually, we're looking for Ren right now. So, have you, have you maybe seen him? Rude, Jonas. No, not Ren. Okay, well... Hey, listen, Nona. You should come with us. That way we're not all... She won't know, have any separate. of it, Jonas. I'm not going anywhere with you. Told right. you. Okay, hey, I get it, I do. I'm jumpy just right- hold up a second, Nona, okay? Yeah, can you just do us a favor? Can you just- Can you go to the comm tower and wait for us? We got the lights on there, and... Yeah, that's actually... That's a good idea. Go to the comm tower and just sit tight till we get back. And the comm tower is... Where? It's the cloud buster at the edge of town. Can't miss it. And you. You're really you? Really? No, Nona. I'm a zombie on the hunt for living brains, so... Yes, it's us, Nona. Alright, bye. And you can walk during that cutscene. If you get too close to her, she will run away. That girl's a peach. And then Jonas will give you a really hard time for it, because you're not supposed to scare her away, because she's, she's a friend, and she said don't come any closer until... You can imagine how that goes, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to do that because I like Nona. Like, not 
not in the same way that Ren does. I just like her character because she's not annoying and, I don't know, she's some kind of adorable but not in a creepy way. You know what I mean. She's just aesthetically pleasing and I like her personality for... God damn it, I don't have a crush on her. And this isn't me going into excessive denial. I just want to be absolutely clear. God damn it, this is going to go on TV tropes, isn't it? Anyway, do we have time for one more screen? Eh, I'm going to take a chance on it. And there's that photo that we took, and oh, that's normal. Yum, yum. It's a... It's a photo. It, there's clearly nothing strange to this photo, even though I just said there was. Yeah. So what now? Any further commentary from you two? Hey, just for me, why'd you let me flip the switch back at the bridge? To be honest, I expected you to just pull ahead and do it yourself. I just didn't want to hurt your feelings, okay? It's easier that way. With boys. Alright, well you don't have to do that with me, alright? Do what you want. I'm not gonna fret over it. Sure. Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Like, nobody's going anywhere. Doesn't the whole- uh, Don't worry about it. It's not- It doesn't really matter, so. Oh, I see. You see what? Can I ask you something? Y yeah, of course. You'd think I'm kind of a slacker idiot, right? Like, I wouldn't find any of this stuff interesting? <laughs> Jonas, I think you're smart. Come on, what are you talking about? Hmm, I don't know. I just sometimes get these, like, whiffs of... I don't know. I can't think of the word for it. Maybe it's stress? Like, from what's going on? Right now? You think I don't know stress? I know stress. Okay. It's like, it's like, I don't know. Nah, it'll come to me. If you say so, Jonas. Now, unless you're going to interrupt me again, because that's something you're very fond of doing, Jonas specifically. Now, just stop here for a second. Do you see anything amiss here? Ladies and gentlemen, I present the most dickishly hidden anomaly in the game. It took me ages to find this. Look right here. It's right there. How are you supposed to see that? That is almost invisible. I mean, I can see it because I can see where it is, but... Damn. You might as well just patrol the entire island with your radio out and look for when it changes colour. That's how you're going to find this one, not from by seeing it. Well, they don't want 100% completion to come too easily. Well, it better be bloody worth it. Now with that in mind, I know what's coming up next, and it does take a bit of time to get through. So before we go any further here, I'm just going to say that I have been, and will continue to be, tessellating hexagons, and we'll just deal with this entire screen in the next episode, because it's going to take more than just two minutes to get through what we're doing here, so um, see you then for more struggles with emotional demons and also actual literal ghosts, or so the game would have you believe at this point. With any luck, we'll rescue Ren next time, though, so I should probably stop rambling and just fade to the end slate. See you in the next one.